as global warming continues apace, it's becoming even more important to reduce carbon emissions. One idea for cutting greenhouse gases is so-called carbon capture and storage, or CCS, which is basically capturing emissions and storing them in unused mines, particularly natural gas pockets, underground salt formations, or in the depths of deep ocean trenches. Here's more. Taiwan CPC Corporation, the country's petrochemical giant, is trying its best to reduce its carbon emissions, but at the same time, trying to cope with the greenhouse gases it has already released. In all of our mines, we'll find suitable places where we can capture and store carbon dioxide. Besides the rock formations inside the earth, we hope to use salt formations too. By pressurizing the captured carbon dioxide and sending it down to the abandoned mines, CPC estimates that more than 10 billion tons of the greenhouse gases can be stored. The company plans to begin experimenting in Xinzhou and Miaoli counties next year. By 2025, or somewhere between 2020 and 2025, we hope we can begin large-scale commercial application of this technology. Despite CPC's optimism, environmentalists scoff at the idea of capturing and storing carbon dioxide and think the actual usefulness is marginal at best. Rather than spending money and energy on capturing and storing carbon dioxide, which is still quite far-fetched in terms of the technology, I think we should focus on what we can do to develop more green energy. Though the ideas may seem far-fetched, reducing greenhouse gases in any way possible remains the planet's top priority and deserves all of our attention.